Hello everybody! BlizzCon was so far quiet when it came to Warcraft Reforged. Still, I have for you some models and gameplay pictures that appeared on the BlizzCon web pages for press. Alright, let's start this with big guns. Here we have Anubarak new model. In Classic Warcraft 3, he has spikes on his back. It looks like they get rid of that. Kel'Thuzad? He looks exactly how I remember him. He looks as well like his Heroes of the Storm model. The Betrayer. Looks like we have to say goodbye to the Warglaves of the Bandaland. They will be dearly missed. But we are getting Warglaves of Azenoth, as we know them from the later games. Arthas, riding his faithful Invincible, horse seems to look different to the old one. He had differently curved horns and no armor on the head. We have him here standing on the back legs, that's maybe why some things might look a little weird. Tyrande, model, armor and bow as we know them from the Heroes of the Storm. And you do not want to mess with that saber kit. Here we have some Night Elf units. We saw Archer and Huntress before, it is first time for me to see new Dryad. Maybe this is how she is supposed to look like, but I think that her torso looks too much like a Night Elf. They should perhaps change skin color and has should be made just out of the leaves in my opinion. Under the group for a change? That's just how I remember those units. Except Crypt Fiend has more legs now. We cannot see it well here, but in Classic Walker 3 he has 4 legs, here 6. Just a tree of life, having a chat with a wisp. Ziggurat. We could not see this typical glove in the previous in-game screenshots. Here we have it. We can notice even though this is just a picture that the crystal is rotating and dragging the violet mist behind him. Just like a spiral galaxy. Now, we have some new in-game screenshots. We already saw this undead base before, but now we can see more of it. There is a crypt. I am not sure if I like this model at all. It is just too colorful for undeads. And that globe at the top of it looks like something you are supposed to hang on a Christmas tree. Over there we have a graveyard, looking good. And here we have a boneyard. Nylons are attacking human base. Here we have Priestess of the Moon, some Arches, Huntress, Druid of the Claw in action, and Ballista. And here we can see Mountain Giants. Models looks great, but that team color, it looks like someone spray painted some of his rocks while he was sleeping or something. Here we have Anur and this time even better look on the Nile of Base. We have a Demon Hunter, or rather, a Demon Huntress. A lot of things is going on in the, on this picture. Here we have a Meat Wagon and Banshee right next to it. We see a new Lich model, now distinct from the Kel'Thuzad. There are as well Druids of the Claw again. Here is a Frostworm, Pink really suits it. Previously, we saw this building on the left. We are not really sure what it was, but now I am confident that this is an Ancient of Wonder. To the right, we have a good look on the Altar of Elders. Here is a Chimera Roost, and I really love the look of this new model. To the left is a new Ancient of Winds. One more thing we can see on this picture is a part of the Hunter's Hall, looking pretty much the usual. And this is the end. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.